Hello everybody, welcome back to Music Essentials. Today we're going to be talking about time signatures and about dotted rhythms. This is a continuation on the last video where we talked about the basic of rhythm. And so if you haven't watched that, be sure to watch that before this so that you know how to count notes and everything. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and get started. So today we're going to talk about time signatures. What is a time signature? What does it mean? And how does that affect the music? The first thing to know is that a time signature is made up of two numbers, one on top of the other, it looks like a fraction, and you'll find it at the beginning of a piece. These two numbers tell you the important information you need to know about the rhythm and beat of the piece. The first number on the top tells you how many beats are in the measure, and the second number on bottom tells you what type of note gets one beat. Now in the last video, we talked about the 4-4 time signature. And this is the most common, and sometimes it's called common time, because it's used the most often. In 4-4 four, four time, the top note tells us that there's four beats in the measure, like we discussed. And the bottom note tells you that the quarter note gets one beat. Now just a reminder, the quarter note looks like a circle that's filled in with a stem. So knowing that, we now know that in each measure, you'll have an equivalent of four quarter notes. Now you might have, it doesn't always mean that they're exactly four quarter notes. There might be two half notes, one whole note, two quarter notes, and one half note. Basically, you do the math any way you can get up to four, whether that's one, two, three, four, or two and two, or one, 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 one. There's lots of different ways. The next time signature we'll talk about is 3-4 time. In this, the 3 means that there's 3 beats in a measure, and the 4 means that the quarter note still gets 1 beat. This is very similar to what we talked about with 4-4, four, four, except for the fact that there are now only 3 beats in the measure. A fun fact about 3-4 time is that it's often used for waltzes. Now the next time signature is similar to these last two that we talked about, and that's the 2-4 time signature. In this time signature, there are two beats in each measure, and the quarter note still gets one beat. So we've talked about 4-4, four, 3-4, four, four, and 2-4. Now let's move to something a little bit different. Let's talk about 6-8. So remember, the top note tells you how many beats are in a measure, and the bottom note tells you what note gets one beat. So if we look at 6-8, we know that by the 6, that there are six beats in the measure. But what does the eight mean? Well, if it tells us what note gets one beat, the eight tells us that the eighth note gets one beat. So therefore, there are six eighth notes in a measure, or the equivalent to that. So this is a little bit different. Now, instead of having four, four, three, four, or two, four, we have six, eight, where an eighth note is getting the beat. And that goes one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, where the eighth note is each beat. Here are some examples of measures that are in six eight time signature. You'll see lots of eighth notes. You might see some quarter notes, but you also probably might see something that we haven't talked about, and that's notes with dots next to them. Let's take a look at these, and this leads us into our next section that we, about dotted notes. A dot next to a note is, pr is pretty simple once you know what it is. By placing a dot next to the note, that basically just tells you to add half the value of the note back to the note. So if we take a look at a quarter note, which is normally one beat, if we cut it in half, giving us half a beat, and add that back, a dotted quarter note is now one and a half beats. In six eight time signature, that would be three beats, three eighth notes. Now let's look at a dotted half note. Here we have a half note, which is normally two beats, and the dot means you add half of it back, which would be just one, which now gives you three beats for a dotted half note. If you have a dotted half note in a six eight time signature, that would be the full value of the whole measure, or six eight notes. So just as a review, by adding a dot to a note, it increases it by half its value. This can be added to any size of note. It can be added to a whole note, a half note, quarter note, eighth note, sixteenth note, and so on. 
Let's move on to an activity now where we clap out rhythms in these different time signatures that also include some dotted notes. We're gonna start with three four time signature. So again, there's three beats in each measure. And let's take a look at this first one together. Here we go. I'll do it as an example and then we'll do it together. One, two, three. 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 You'll notice there that in the first measure and the last measure, there's a dotted half note and that would be three beats because the half note is two and the dot adds one more beat, so it gives you three beats. Pretty simple. So let's do this one together. Go ahead and get ready to clap. And here we go. One, two, three. 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 Good, let's go on to the next one. And in this one, it looks like we have some quarter notes, half notes, and a couple eighth notes. Now, when you have two eighth notes in a row like this, you'll sometimes see them beamed together and they're still just an eighth note or half of a beat. So here we go. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. One, two, three. Good. Now let's go on to another example. This one has some more eighth notes. We'll go a little bit slower so that we can make sure and get the rhythm exactly right. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three, and one, and two, three. One, and two, and three. Good, did you get that? If not, go ahead and rewind and try it again. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and go forward onto our next thing. Okay, let's go on now to 6-8 time signature and do some exercises. Here's our first one. In this first exercise, we have some dotted half notes and dotted quarter notes. Remember, the eighth note in 6-8 time signature gets one beat, and there are six beats in each measure. So in this first example, it goes like this. Ready, and. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Okay, let's go ahead and try it together. Get ready to clap. And here we go. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Good. Let's try another one. Here in this example, we have some quarter notes, dotted quarter notes, and eighth notes. All right, so let's try this example. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Great. Okay. Let's now look at one more example. Before we do this, look at the very end of this example. And what do you see? In the last measure, it starts with a dotted quarter note, which we've already talked about is one and a half beats but then you see a dotted quarter rest. A dotted rest is similar to a dotted note where it adds back half of the value. So if we have a quarter rest with a dot, that means the rest will be one and a half beats long. So here we go. Let's go ahead and start from the beginning. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Good. We've talked about time signatures and we've talked about dotted rhythms. The last thing that we'll discuss in this video is triplets. A triplet groups three, group, three notes together into the space of one beat. So where you normally would have one beat that's divided in half, you now have a beat that's divided into three parts. So instead of one and two and, you have one lolly, two lolly. Or another way of counting it is to just simply say triplet, triplet. So if you have us an example in four four, and you go one 
and two and three and four and that becomes triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. We won't do any exercises with this, but if you ever come across a triplet, now you know that it's basically that all it's doing is just putting three notes into the space of where two halves normally would be. And there you have it, that's our basics of rhythm. So in these past two videos, we've discussed note values, we've discussed rest values, we've done time signatures, dotted rhythms, and triplets, and we've done some exercises. So now, moving on into the next video, we're gonna discuss pitches. We'll look at a piano and see how the notes are arranged. We'll look at the different names of notes, and then we'll talk about sheet music and how to read a staff and how to know where the notes lie on the staff. So I'll see you next time on our Music Essentials course.